George Leach starred at Olympic High School in the late 90s, a standout center when Charlotte was flush with Division I big men. He played under Bobby Knight at Indiana, where he met his best friend, Jeff Newton. That friendship would take George around the world and back to Charlotte with a whole new talent set and a whole new career. Chicken is down in a smoker. You're really just trying to make sure you're fine-tuning yourself to be the best you can be. There are times when you can't tell if George Leach is talking about basketball or barbecue. Sometimes it's both. I treat it just like basketball. You know, you get in with what you put out. There are parallels, of course. The restaurant business can be as unforgiving as a professional sports career. The grueling hours, the self-sacrifice. Hi, Max. A payoff so far down the road, it's hard to see. People don't understand the restaurant industry until they work in it. You know, like, this is a grind. But just like in basketball, in barbecue, it helps to have a teammate, like Jeff Newton. Back up, 1999, we go on our official visit together in Indiana, on, on a whim. You know, exactly. Coach Knight had us all come in, and we just became friends that day. After their careers wrapped at Indiana, it was Newton who encouraged Leach to join him professionally in Japan. I'm still trying to make it in the league, you know, so, you know, I'm getting cut left and right. Jeff was like, hey, if you're done, you know, chasing your dream, let's start making some money and being, you know, set our stuff up. A lucrative career followed, but it was a torn Achilles that ended Leach's career. Now you, you know, you don't have that contract next year. You know, this was, you know, this is my ninth year, 10th year. So I'm like, you know, Achilles injury, older guy. What am I going to do? <laughs> he returned to Charlotte and turned his attention to his other passion, barbecue. Just was out one day, rolled my smoker out to the end of the driveway <laughs> in the apartment. So, and uh, they're like, hey, you, you want to cook at the community pool? I'm like, sure. Leach was a hit and made a little money. That's when he got serious about his business and recruited Jeff Newton to join him in Charlotte. So I'm like, hey, I is out of control. I need help. Has to be you. I'll trust my ass with the money. Come here. Let's do this whole. Newton sold a penthouse in Atlanta. Leach invested the money he had earned playing professional basketball, and the two dove headfirst into the restaurant business, not knowing quite what they were getting into. You don't have any training. You didn't, you know, none. I had no idea how to run a line, no idea how to, um, I didn't have a POS system. We took all cash, you know, they had no idea what we were doing. Um, culinary training, no one. All they had was a passion for food and a drive to succeed that can't be learned. I feel like the only reason why I survived and why he survived, my partner survived too, is because we're athletes. We can push ourselves to the limit, to the point of exhaustion. No sleep, but because we have that that goal. One food truck became two. It's grown pretty fast. A stand at Charlotte Motor Speedway and a brick and mortar restaurant followed. The next step for the ambitious pair will be giving back, sponsoring sports teams, making sure they don't want for uniforms or gear. You know, I'm playing ball for myself and my family, you know what I'm saying? Building my restaurant for myself and my family. It's like, now I, I have to do this. Like this is, you know, it's just weird. So you have a second call. That's coming in the near future. For now, George Leach is enjoying the moment. To work with your best friend every single day, you have the same vision outcome, so you want to get to the same place, you can't beat that. Now, of course, George Leach wanted to make sure his wife got the credit she deserved for believing in his vision and supporting him. Leach also credited his mother. On the court, she taught him his hook shot, and she gave him his love of food. She was well known for the spreads she would cook up for the college coaches coming to recruit him. Bobby Knight ate well when he visited the Leaches.